What's up you money makers and HCMC army many of you reached out to me asking for an update about HCMC many of you also asked about HCWC not being appeared in your brokerage account here I am sharing all this information and latest and greatest updates about HCMC D make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel now with this trick court already paused or stayed the lawsuit until the appeal over the patent office ruling is done before I go to HCWC, it's important to address what is going on with HCMC, especially with their lawsuit and the spin-off that they are planning for. So there are three phase approach for HCMC. Number one is the lawsuit. Now remember, the lawsuit, the HCMC patents and everything around QCUP is going to stay with HCMC. What this particular news means, district court stayed the lawsuit until the appeal over the patent office ruling is done. Now, according to this case, is stayed pending at the federal circuit resolution. Case number 1529, the court is without jurisdiction to impose this stay and the stay shall take effect immediately upon the court regaining the jurisdiction with the federal circuit issue its mandate. Now, you already know that HCMC announced the decision or basically they got the decision from Inter Parties Review IPR patent from PTAB. What is going on is PTAB is questioning whether what HCMC has already filed in the past is patentable or not. They are of the opinion at the moment, as of December 21st, 2022, that they announced that HCMC also announced that the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, USPTO, Patent Trial and Appeal Board, which is PTAB, we have been talking about that for a long time, issued the final written decision in connection with the Interparties Review of U.S. Patent 170, the patent that we have been all talking about. This is the patent that HCMC is suing Philip Morris for. They are saying, saying that there is an infringement of this patent because there is combustion. We talked about this combustion process and a lot of physics back in the days. While I'm not a financial advisor, nor I'm a certified professional, nor I'm a scientist or any sort of uh, expert, what I can tell you is even if there is a slight combustion, that means Philip Morris is infringing the patent that HCMC has. But at the moment, what PTAB is saying that what HCMC has filed is not really patentable. The PTAB found that all claims of the patent are not patentable. This is really the crux of the uh, situation. The PTAB believes at the moment that what HCMC is claiming for the patent is not patentable. And that goes back to this particular instance right here because district court stayed the lawsuit. They are saying patent office needs to rule this particular patent first. Until that, they can't really decide. What we were debating before is if the lawsuit goes forward, they will be considering, they will consider that there is actually a patent and based on the patent decision, the decision or whatever the lawsuit is going to um, get the verdict on will be decided based on the patent is there or patent is not there. But now the court is saying, First, let's decide the patent. The company is evaluating its option, incurring the possibility of exercising its right to appeal in the U.S. Court of Appeal for the Federal Circuit or requesting the rehearsing before the PTAB. So this part needs to be done first. Now, this is all, both the lawsuit, whether it's both the appeals, whether it's PTAB or the Federal Circuit that we know. So the Federal Circuit loss, uh, appeal came into HCMC's favor, which means the lawsuit that was discarded or um, got rid of, they're getting back onto the board. Now, with this particular approach, the patent remain valid, remain valid and um, enforceable until the appeals have been exhausted. So at the moment, we are thinking that there is an appeal process going to happen. And let's talk a little bit more about what this means. Now, now based on JAWS uh, mentioning here before a couple of days on May 19th, HCMC has their opening argument written due to the patent invalidation appeal by June 16th. So that's their timeline. You remember that this is just the beginning. This is not going to get confirmed on June 16th. In my opinion, not a lawyer, but remember, do your own due diligence. Make this channel part of your due diligence. That way you can figure things out. 
um, sooner rather than later. I'm not saying this is going to be 100% accurate all the time because this is based on what I research, what I find, the way I put the time, energy and efforts in building this video. So that's really the only thing that is going on in litigation right now. So nothing is expected until then. So until June 16, uh, there, there is no real update that we are going to hear. So mark down June 16th on your calendar. Now that's for HCMC lawsuit. We'll talk about another date that you should also keep in mind when it comes to HCWs, the spin-off, right? And we have been expecting that there will be $10 initial price point for HCWC. Now let's go back to this uphill. The uphill could take a year plus because again, PTAB is a very time consuming process. It could take very well between 12 to 18 months. Um, the other took 14 months, the previous one. The other uphill took 14 months. So all in all, this is going to be a waiting game. So you won't hear anything anytime soon, whether it's for PTAB or for this federal circuit lawsuit that we have been talking about. Well, so I just wanted to clear the grounds here that you really don't really want to bet on the HCMC's infringement lawsuit on Philip Morris at the moment. But there is a ton going on with HCMC. What is going on with HCMC? Number one, they have released frequently asked questions in regards to the upcoming record date that was in May, by the way, that has been, oh, sorry, in April and May, May 1st. So the record date to own the share participate in the dividend was May 1st, 2023, which means the HCMC shareholders will be getting free stock in forms of dividends. Um, so why I'm saying free stock? Because dividend, dividend does not really cost you anything. It's not a delusion. It's uh, in, in the form of HCWC um, shares, the HCMC shareholders on a record date will be given the HCWC stocks. And we know that we are expecting around $10 as the listing price. And they are looking forward to NYSC, at least at the moment. What the company is saying that in, on the record date, if you own the shares on May 1st, 2023, to ensure that you deemed owner of HCMC common stock on that date, you should own or purchase HCMC common stock at least three business days before May 1st, 2023. So you should own the stock no later than April 26, 2023. So if you already owned HCMC and you did not really do any transaction, you are automatically are entitled to get the HCWC stock. Will I get dividend HCWC stock when I will be receiving how many stocks, right? And we know that what HCMC is trying to do is the percentage of the ownership based on the HCMC stock on the record date. The calculation, 71,000 to 1, which means every 71,000 stocks someone owns of HCMC, they are going to get one stock of HCWC. And if you uh, round it off more or less on that record date, wh whatever the price was, it comes down to $10. Now, don't quote me because things are subject to change. I am not part of HCMC. I did not make any decisions, but what I can do is I'll keep you posted. These videos are only for the education and entertainment purposes. Do make sure that you do your own due diligence at the end of the day. What that means is every 71,000 shares of HCMC stock owned, a shareholder will receive one share of HCWC common stock on the final ratio number will be determined on the record date. We do not really have any further information after this particular FAQ from HCMC. What we received is, I already shared with you, but here we are again, that HCMC has $19.7 million in cash. All in all, they have, uh, the current asset is about $27.2 million at the moment. HCWC is going to get roughly $3 million out of the cash reserve that HCMC has at the moment. $60 million is the projected revenue for this newly formed company, HCWC, that you already know. Another thing you want to also note is, they are expecting, HCMC's management is expecting HCWC cash flow positive from the get-go. So that company won't be running in loss. And as you already know what is going on with HCMC, that we are hovering, we are transco uh, they're, we're barcoding between zero and one level. But the important thing is we have been going up, up and above in terms of the revenue. In Q1 2022, our revenue was 5 million. 
Q2, 6.13 million. Q3, 5.8 million. So, and in Q4, 12.31 million. This is Q4 2022. So before Q4, we were between five and six million dollars in revenue. In Q4, we are 12 million. And Q1, we are 13.56 million. So if you just uh, multiply 13 to 14 million by four, you're getting pretty close to $60 million. So what the company is telling us really makes sense that they are skyrocketing in terms of the revenue. But the real problem here that they are facing is their net income is still negative. Why it's negative? Because they have $7 million, close to $7 million in Q1 in operating expenses. Before that, $6.8 million, so still $7 million. When we had $12 to $13 million in revenue, if you spend half of that in operating expense, which means you're not left, left really with any hefty margins, which is is what HCMC is struggling with. The another thing that you also want to note is there's a high short volume. The short volume on 19th, which is on Friday, that was 66.89%, which is a pretty high FINRA short volume of 130.6 million with the short volume of 87.3 million. So HCMC has 54, 72s, 49, 65, 75%. Huge, huge short volume. So people are batting against HCMC at the moment. We are not seeing any bigger transactions from the uh, institutional investors either. I verified on Fintel. We don't really see any bigger activities regardless. So there is not much happening there. We see a ton of updates on Reddit and Reddit community is staying pretty strong. Take a look right here. More than 14,000 members on r slash HCMC. So there are strong members. You need to understand that there is no real update from HCMC. The latest update, let me just go ahead and refresh. The latest update that we see from HCMC is May 24. And after that, we know that we have 10Q filed. We have 8K filed. So this 8K was filed um, on um, very recently. So let me go here and show you. This 8K was filed on May 18, 19th. There is nothing really that you need to be worrying about because this is all known information. There is nothing drastic that they are mentioning here. Uh, but they're, what they're mentioning is on May 15, both the parties, they entered into the second amendment for security purchases, extended the time period, so on and so forth. As of May 17th, the shares of preferred stock have been converted into 4.4 million shares of preferred stock stock and they have been redeemed for total redemption payment of 4.39 million and this is the update basically there is no real big update that you want to um, really be worrying about yes there is no update on HCMC and HCWC spin-off either but we are expecting that they'll be uplisting they'll be uplisted on NYSC I will keep you posted because we did not really hear anything from HCMC and their management team. Thanks for watching. Do hit the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell and make this channel part of your daily due diligence. We have been talking about HCMC, MULN, TRKA, GTII, many other penny stocks, which is exciting. Um, again, thanks for watching and wish you all the best for the rest of the week.